Hi, my name is Imran from imstack.co.uk and this is the fourth tutorial on CSS and today we're going to cover inline CSS. Um, right, so to start off with, the first thing I'm going to do is create a brand new HTML document. So, create a new HTML document. Um, I'm going to add a div, which is insert div tag, which is right at the top there. Um, I'm not going to give it a class, no ID or nothing, but it's previously we used to select a class and give it a new rule but this is going to be the inline CSS and you'll see how that works in a second so um, leave everything blank and just press OK so all I've got is a div tag this is the div tag um, it's got a bit of text and that just um, is placed there by Dreamweaver as a placeholder um, I'm going to go inside the code now the main thing to remember is this is the div tag that we've inserted just a second ago and inside the div tag this is the text that Dreamweaver places. Now inline CSS works on the first tag so the opening tag of the div um, this particular one right here um, this is where we'll actually add our styling or the style rules um, the way to do this is first of all I'm going to press space style now Dreamweaver has got pr predictive um, sort of coding so I can select uh, double click just style and what it's done is style equals open and closes brackets sorry open and closes speech marks and it's given me a list of all the options um, straight away you can see I'm just we've got background background attachment background images we can also add images I'm just gonna go with background color uh, double click in there so it's gone background um, slash color um, dot dot and so which is a colon and I can select a color um, going to select a bluey color um, now just to show you guys what's happened it's gone blue um, as expected now going back into the code if I wanted to add more CSS more rules sorry uh, what I need to do is just go back into it um, just after the hexadecimal for the color and just press semicolon so that is the semicolon space um, it's important that we don't go outside of the speech because this is also part of this style so it's style equals and then the open and close bracket sorry the speech marks so semicolon and I can add more rules so I'm just gonna go with um, width this time um, give it a width of um, I am going to give it a width of uh, 700 and pixels uh, semicolon um, go back into the, the design view you, we can now see it's actually shortened whereas before it was all the way to the edge now it's gotten to 700 pixels which is a lot shorter um, going back into the code uh, space and height sorry H E I G H T and going to give this a height of say 500 um, pixels and press uh, give it a semicolon at the end um, so it's become longer uh, so we can see we we're actually adding specific rules for this div tag um, giving it unique rules for it specifically um, so we've given it a color, a height, a width now something also interesting um, that's quite some people sort of struggle with is to what if I wanted to center this uh, div tag and the way I do that is I actually have to add a margin um, so MA margin and give it now I need to select auto so that's automatically done margin and semicolon um, and just to show you guys how this works I'm just gonna save this save it uh, I'm just gonna call it page one for the sake of it one and um, save <coughs> so it's opened up in uh, the browser the way I did that is I pressed F12 and if I open this now you can see it's always in the center set it to 100% it's always going to be in the center of the page um, if I collapse close it I'll narrow it down it will always be in the center of the page so that I think is uh, quite a cool thing so so that's something uh, really important um, that I've just showed you guys um, to cr so just to recap uh, if I wanted to add inline styles um, the way I do it is within the first the opening tag of the div um, it could be done for pictures it could be done for links uh, ECT 
but the way I've done this is I've pressed style equals and then it opened the speech marks that's the opening one and that is the closing one and within there I've got all my styles all my rules um, the background rule the width the height and the margin um, so this is a uh, I'm just going to show you guys another style that I created um, we created together in a previous tutorial so just going to double click so you can see the uh, syntaxes for the actual style rules are similar so whereas we've got height um, colon and then it's 200 pixels and then it's a semicolon similarly it's height colon 500 pixels and colon so you can see the similarities um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and next time I'll show you guys how we can sort of make our websites more accessible using CSS and JavaScript so stay tuned for that um, so yeah comic comment rate and subscribe to this video and if you've got any other requests any questions uh, inbox me um, and that's it really